Hey everybody, I saw today that there is a brand new project that just came out that is for FPKGI, which I covered over here on the channel. And what this thing does is, is this automates the creation of the JSON files that FPKGI uses. Let's go ahead and jump into the project and let's learn how we can use that on our own PlayStation 4s. So over here on GitHub, we can see that there is a user called Super User 866, which released a project here called PS4 FPKGI-JSON. Now, if we look at the project, we can see that it says that it is a bash script to automate the creation of JSON files for using PS4 FPKGI. And so looking down here into the readme, it says that this script uses the official Orbis Docker container to extract information and cover art from PKG files. Basically, the container is created with the name Open Orbis and removed at the end, but it recursively scans the input directory for PKG files, then it extracts all the needed information to cover PNGs and creates it in the same directory with the three JSONs, which is the games.json, updates.json, and dlc.json. Now, there is some setup instructions in this, which I will walk you through 100% step by step. But the first thing I would ask you to do is to go ahead and to go up here to code and then download the zip file and get this file ready because we're going to be working with it in just one simple moment. Now in the description, I'll obviously leave a link to the first video that I created on FPKGI just in case you want to get up to speed more about what it does and how to use it. You could come over here to the official FPKGI site, going over to releases here, and we are going to come over here and download the very latest Atlee build, which at this point, it's going to be 0 0.87. Now, in order to get this to work, you will need Docker installed on your system. Now, I'm using Windows, and what I did was I came over here and I went to this URL, and I just downloaded Docker Desktop for Windows x86-64. So dependent on, obviously, the version of the operating system that you're currently using, you will want to go ahead and install Docker. And the reason that you want Docker installed is, is that this script file is going to use Docker commands to pull down that open Orbis image. If Docker isn't installed, it will just fail right out of it. So as a recap, download Docker. Go ahead and download the latest nightly build of FPKGI. And then, of course, get this file on your hard drive, and we'll go from there. Next up, in order to run that SH script, we will need to get Windows Subsystem for Linux installed if you are using a Windows machine. Now, obviously, if you're using Mac or Linux, you won't need this. But if you are following along on Windows, you'll want to just simply come in here and grab one of the latest and greatest Ubuntu releases. And then have that on your system where we can use that to run the script. Now, as you can see right here, I'm using a bit of an older version, but this one's just already installed on my machine, which would be good enough for this. You might want to use one of the later versions that came out. And then again, if you are using Windows, you might want to grab the Windows terminal. This is free of charge, so I'm just using this one just right here, and you should grab one of these too. Okay, so over on my PC here, I have a working folder that I have simply copied in a couple of different PKGs. Both of these are actual games, and this one right here is just an update file. I also have the ps4-fpkgi-json.sh, in that same folder that I downloaded from the GitHub. So the very first thing that we are going to need to do here is just to go ahead and just create a new folder here. And we need to give this name an underscore IMG and then press enter. 
And so you should just have an empty folder here called underscore IMG, just like that right there. And now let's switch over to the command prompt. Okay, over in the command prompt, I've went ahead and opened up Ubuntu. If you don't know how to do that, just press on this little arrow here and select Ubuntu if you are on Windows. And I navigated out to where I have those test PKG. So if I do an LS, Dash L here, you can see there is Minecraft. We got Quake and then a Raspberry Cube game. And then we have our script as well as that folder that I told you to create, which was that underscore IMG. Now the instructions totally missed this step, but you do need to go ahead and run a sudo apt git install on JQ. So if we go ahead and I run this here, I've already got it you will need to download this too. And JQ is just a very popular parsing tool for JSON, which is why they use it and it is a requirement. And then we just need to call it down here. So I'm calling it with just the ps 4 fpkgishell script that they provided and then just a dot. Now, one thing you can do here is, is that if you already got your server running, you can supply your server address here, but it's super easy to fix that later on if you want to. So if you just want to follow the instructions here for the local file system, and just go ahead and do this command. And then once you're completed with that, just press the enter button. So right here, it says starting the open Orbis container. I'm going to scroll back up just a tiny bit. And now the container has been started. On first run of this, you do need to download the container. And then once you have the container downloaded, again, it does everything if you just run the script. It went and it found that we have got Minecraft, which is correct. And it has populated all of the correct data in here. So if I scroll down into here, we can see Quake 2 was picked up. We've got the correct title ID. We've got the package laid out here, the size, the release information, and there's where the cover lives. And then the last one here was Raspberry Cube. And we can see that that one has been picked up too. So down at the very end of this, it says PKGs added to JSONs, two games, one update, and zero DLC. And there was no duplicates there. So now that we have that complete, let's look at Windows Explorer. Okay, and over in Windows Explorer, if I go into that IMG folder that we created, we can see we have an image right here and that belongs over here to Raspberry Cube. And then the other image that was in that folder was just Wake 2. Now we also have our DLC, our games, and there is our update.json. Okay, and here are those JSON files that we're about to copy over. We've got our games.json, and right here it has already filled in all of this great information. So we've also got Raspberry Cube. We didn't have any DLC, and then it properly picked up the update JSON, which was for Minecraft. If you recall, we just used a period when we first created this because I told you you could specify your server a little bit later. Well, mine actually is pointed towards this server. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in place of each and every one of these PKGs where it can find the file on the server. So I'm going to do these. I'm also going to fix this one up for Minecraft. And you would obviously need to do the same thing down here. So we'll go ahead and we will paste this in here so it knows exactly where to find the cover. It definitely is a bit easier to do that when you start through the command prompt, but sometimes your server may be changing, and I just wanted to show you it's super easy to fix that yourself. Okay, so now we need to get the games.json, the updates.json, and the DLC over to our PlayStation 4. FTP is probably one of the easiest ways to go ahead and do that. And on your PlayStation 4, if you've already got Gold Hen running, you can go over to Server Settings and then enable the FTP port. And right there, it will tell you where it is listening on. So over in 
Alzilla. I've got a PS4 site created. There is my IP address and there is my port. And we're going to make sure we use only plain FTP. And we're going to connect up. And now that we're connected up, here is our PlayStation 4. So we're going to go over here to the data folder. And then we're going to go into FPKGI. And then we're going to go to content JSONs. And I'm just going to drag and drop those over. And we're going to overwrite everything. And now those files have been transferred over. Okay, so back over on the PS4, I went ahead and just installed the latest version of FPKGI. And obviously you should do the same thing. So let's go ahead and see if it worked. And there it is, or at least some of it. So let's go down to Quake 2 and let's go to details here. And we should have our album art and everything. So we've got our title ID, we got the package version, we've got the release date, and there is our nice little Quake 2 icon that it downloaded for us. Now, this other one was Raspberry Cube. And the text for this was in Japanese, so it doesn't look like it renders the Japanese text, but that may not be a problem for some of you. I'm going to go ahead and go into the details here on that one, and hopefully we'll get our image and everything, and it looks like we do. And it does have the title ID, and then the package version, and then the release date of 080820. So the other thing that we had was an update. So we're going to go to updates and there it is. There is the Minecraft update. So there still may be some improvements left, including the text that's kind of missing right here. That is the Japanese text for Raspberry Cube. Okay. And so let's just go ahead and try to download one of them, but it should work because we obviously got the correct image. And right now it's downloading a 4.91 gigabyte file. So anyways, I really enjoy this little script that has recently came out. Now I've noticed there's a few little things like in the setup instructions that was missing, but hey, it's just an open source project and we can all kind of play with it and just jam out with it and enjoy it. So anyways, I want to say thank you for watching the channel and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!